Good morning, Barstow. I'm Natalie Beyer. And I'm Shola Dugbo. So, Shola, how was your weekend? I had a pretty good weekend. We had robotics on Saturday, and we brought the robot inside and started working on electrical. Yeah, like, it's pretty exciting when you got like a week left of build season, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. All right, so let's get into some announcements. Middle School Debate competes at West Middle School on Tuesday, and the Middle School Speech Team has a tournament at Delta Woods Middle School this Friday. Tomorrow, we will be on AM assembly schedule due to family activities. Check your email to see the members of your family. Here is Elise, Kate, and Francesca with the details on the activity. Thanks, Shola and Natalie. Um, we're the NHS officers, and we're going to tell you a little bit about the activity this Tuesday. So tomorrow is our first family activity, and we're going to be making valentines for our residents at the Forum, which is a senior living facility, to kind of brighten their valentines day. So at 10 o'clock tomorrow, everyone will go to their family group room, and then NHS members will go to the gym to pick up the lower schoolers. And then once you're there, you'll just do some icebreaker activities to acclimate yourself to your room and your group and get to know everyone a little bit better. And then once everybody knows each other, we're going to be making Valentine's Day cards. So we have stickers and pens and markers and just a whole bunch of stuff to make Valentine's Day cards. And if you sign it, only sign the card with your first name and not your last name. We hope everyone has fun. Have fun. <laughs> All right, thank you ladies. I really am looking forward to tomorrow's activity with my family. Cum laude induction ceremony is Wednesday at 10 a.m. in the auditorium. If you can't make it, BTVN will be live streaming the event. So, Natalie, are you planning on doing any international trips before you graduate? You know, I can, sadly I can say that I am not, but if I could have, I would have done the, done the Japan trip. What about you? Well, since I'm in Spanish, I'd probably do somewhere in South America. I think that would be yeah. actually really cool. Yeah. So. Speaking of international trips, there is an Australia trip orientation meeting for students this Thursday, February 15th from 3.30 to 4 in the Cove. All right, that's good to know. Natalie, are you, are you feeling all right? You know, now that you mention it, I really am not, I think I've been out of the loop this past weekend. Well, good luck for you. Well, Richard is here with our What's Poppin'. Richard. <laughs> You got a story to tell. Uh -huh. I guess all you need is a studio. If you got a product to sell, uh -huh. just make sure the business is booming, though. So you know what the business is. I see Johnny Cage when I grip a pen. You couldn't see me on my old pitch. All right, let's get into it. The 2018 Olympics kicked off Friday in Pyeongchang, South Korea, with the United States sending its most ever athletes to the competition. Already, the U.S. has three medals a gold, a silver, and a bronze. The silver comes from Chris Madzer in the men's singles luge, the United States' first ever medal in that category. And the gold comes from, amazingly, from 17-year-old Red Gerard in the snowboard sl slope style. Gerard was in last place heading into the final round of the competition and delivered under immense pressure. The Olympics will be continuing until February 25th, so be sure to watch. BTVN will not be live streaming them, unfortunately. The NBA trade deadline was last Thursday, and there were some blockbuster moves. Making the headlines were the Cleveland Cavaliers, and it'd honestly be easier to tell you who wasn't traded. All you need to know is LeBron is still there. Beeline will publish an article soon covering the trades. <clears throat> Last Tuesday, SpaceX successfully launched Falcon Heavy, the largest and most powerful operational rocket in the world. The rocket generated more than 5 million pounds of thrust at liftoff, equal to 18 Boeing 747s combined. On board the rocket was a red Tesla Roadster, which is now on its way to orbit the sun, along with its dummy driver, Starman. The whole mission was just a test of Falcon Heavy's capabilities with the ultimate goal of bringing a payload to Mars. Yep, just one more thing for Elon Musk to get excited about. Well, that's all for today. Back to you, Natalie. All right, thank you, Richard. Before we close out today, we have the results from last week's poll, Adidas versus Nike. So I actually voted for Nike on that one. I actually voted for Adidas because I really like their clothes and their shoes. Well, it looks like Adidas takes this one, winning 53% to Nike's 47. Also, congratulations, Rishi, for winning the chips. And for next week's poll, french fries or tater tots, make sure to vote this week to be entered to win a bag of chips. Well, it looks like we're out of time for today. I'm Natalie Beyer. And I'm Shola Dugbo. Have a happy Monday, Barstow.